are people who have worked in the field of global health and development for years, and we've gone, gotten really accustomed to having our arguments resonate with people. And those are arguments of morality and doing the right thing. And, and of course, all of those messages are still true. Please trust me when I say that. And also, we need to be coming to the table with different messages, different ways of talking about old things to new people. And the reality is, if we're being responsible, we're not thinking in terms of winners and losers across global health. If one of us loses, we all lose. And that's our reality. We've done the hard work of making sure all of our work is interconnected. So you pull one thread of that sweater, and it can all come unraveled. First of all, you got to know what the heck is going on. You can take your breaks, don't get me wrong but you need to stay up on what is happening to the extent it affects the work that you do. And it is great work. But what I tell people about what I do at Global Health Council is this. I represent the great work of people all over the world. And it's my job to make sure Congress and the White House and people at the UN put policies and funding in place so that you all can continue to do that fantastic work. So that's my job. What I want your job to be is to tell me about all that work you're doing, okay? I need you to stand up and speak up so that everyone can hear all of your stories. And I need us all to know that we're in this together. I need us all to hold hands across global health and across development and really say, okay, we are here in service to people all over the world, and it's our job to stand in solidarity on their behalf and speak truth to power. We're not people who back down from challenges. We're people who know why we're here every day. And I know that those days when I feel like, eh, I don't really want to be bothered, or it's a little bit too much, I think, well, what if I look like this? What if I just suit up and just face it head on? And I think we all have our capes and tights tucked away. And what I'm asking of all of you is to put those on with me and to make sure we all, together, don't do the easy thing, but do the thing that's worth it. Hey there, Switchpoint. It is very exciting to be back here after several years away. My thanks to the organizers for inviting me to join you this year, albeit in this virtual setting. I know it's still strange for a lot of us, but hey, here we are. So, uh, a lot's changed for me in the past four or five years or so. Uh, first off, I got a new gig, and I have the pleasure and honor of working for the U.S. government and for the American people. I am the director of the Office of Global Affairs at our U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. That is a mouthful. It basically means I get to work in health diplomacy and I am able to share with the world our vast resources and knowledge and expertise and skills in public health to ensure that our country, alongside other countries, all across this planet are capable of fighting the next pandemic or frankly whatever comes our way and it's just so critically important now to be in this space and working in the way that i am along with colleagues here in the u.s government if this past year has taught us anything it's taught us that public health global health is absolutely critical and so i guess that's what pushed me into this right i think a lot of times we spend uh, our energy focusing on others, encouraging them to find their flow and ensure they're doing what what they can, uh, their highest and best use, as I had a mentor say to me years ago, and I guess I just needed that pep talk for myself. I'm so used to rallying from outside the tent that now being on the inside is fascinating, and it's it's incredible. There's a lot of big change that can happen from here, too, and so... I'm honored again to be in the role that I'm in. It's especially important now as we all still battle this pandemic. And 
that road isn't yet finished, that journey isn't yet complete, and yet I'm both humbled and heartened by this past year and this these ongoing efforts around COVID-19. I guess I'm humbled for the obvious reasons because we've been tested in these really critical ways and I've come to appreciate and understand all that's been required of each of us, let alone really reflect on our losses, on the ways that we've had to grieve, lives lost, livelihoods lost, and everything in between. And yet, I'm still hopeful because I know we can do this. I am so clear about us having the tools to reach this finish line, and I'm even more emboldened to do that together. So that's where I am with this work, and that's how I feel several years later from the last time we met, and I hope you're there with me. There just, again, hasn't been as critical a time as now to really show up in the ways that we can, that we must in global health and in public health, and beyond the evidence, ensuring we have equity in this space, and ensuring that we work with a semblance of solidarity, of humility, and, and accountability, and transparency and everything that matters uh, in global health to really show or demonstrate real progress. And so thanks again for having me here. Uh, thanks again for uh, heeding uh, whatever words I have to impart. And most importantly, uh, thanks for showing up yourselves and doing all the work that you do uh, to make a difference. With that, hey Michael. <laughs>